Hello everyone. Welcome to this video where I talk about stuff and draw some stuff. No, no, no real big surprise there. But I'm going to be talking about something pretty specific today. Uh, it's a question that I get fairly often, especially when I'm doing live streams and stuff. Uh, people ask, you know, how did you, how did you develop your style? How did you find your style? You know, along that lines, like, you know, can you give me tips for helping me develop my style? And I have like kind of a short generic answer that I give when I'm on streams because I get that question often enough that like I don't always want to go into like detail because it's kind of like a, a more complex subject than just, you know, answering it in like a few minutes. So this, that's why I'm making this, this longer video um, because I get this question often enough that I thought it would be a good idea to just make a video about it because it seems like a lot of people are curious and, uh, you know, maybe having something that I can just direct them to to be like, hey, I made a video about that. You can watch that and get like more in-depth thoughts than I'd be willing to give over a live stream or something like that. So, yeah, here's that video. I've been thinking about it for a while, like maybe maybe even like a couple a couple months now, you know, kind of like thinking how I'm going to make this video, how I'm going to talk about style, because it's kind of a, a really intangible thing. I think. I mean, it's it's certainly you know something that you can notice. Like people obviously draw in different ways, uh, and that's that's easily easily noticeable. But you know, there's there's a lot more to it than that. Um, you know, than just being like, oh well, you know, is how can I find my son? Like I, you know, I don't know. It's not like a really great, uh, you know, answer that that covers everyone and covers covers everything because everybody draws everybody draws differently, and like your your journey in art is going to be. Um, totally different and unique to someone else's. Um, and while there there may be some similar threads, uh, your your experience is going to be your own. Now, I do think that there are certain things you can do to help like hone your style and stuff like that. But I think more than anything, it just takes time. It just takes time to develop a style. And I was thinking of an analogy, like you know, like what what can I say to like compare this to something else to make it, you know, make more sense kind of illustrate my point and I thought I thought about you know style as being like a seed right and everybody has everybody has a seed everybody has their specific way that they draw everybody has their you know own specific way that they do things um, so your seed if you plant it it'll grow but it's not going to grow overnight it's something that takes a lot of time you know you, you look at your seed one day and it may look exactly the same the next day that doesn't mean it's not growing uh, I think that a lot of a lot of people have the misconception that you can just like start drawing a certain way and that'll like determine your style. But I don't think it's I don't think it's that easy. I, I spend a lot of time practicing and trying new things and, you know, learning things about myself and the way that I draw that uh, affect my style and, and shape the way I draw on a day to day basis. You know, it's you know, I don't just draw one way and that's going to be the way that I draw forever you know I it's always going to change and I think that's it's good it's good to change that means you're you're trying new things you're improving uh, your seed is growing you know all that stuff I, lo I love that analogy I think it's a really really cute analogy but you know if you if you think of, if you think about your style as a plant or a seed and as it's growing it's gonna you know sprout leaves and sprout different branches and stuff you could even think of branches that like different ways, different ways of drawing. Like one branch could be how you draw in pencil. One branch could be how you draw in pen, you know, or, or another branch could be how you draw digitally or, you know, how you paint. And, and each branch is going to grow and develop on its own, but it's all part of the same plant. It's all, all linked together. It's, it's your style. You know, there are going to be uh, commonalities between the way you draw in pencil and the way you draw in pen. Uh, just as much as there would be commonalities in in the way you draw in pencil and the way you draw digitally, uh, little little elements, you know, little ways that you draw things, you know, how you draw ears is going to translate, uh, you know, ac across across using different tools and stuff like that. But uh, on the same on the same note, like using a different tool will also change your style a little bit. So, you know, I, I use a bunch of different pencils and I draw in different ways when I use different pencils. And, you know, that's, that's the, basically the same tool, just kind of like in a, different, in a different format. You know, I draw a little bit different with like a wood pencil than I do with a mechanical pencil. And that affects my style a little bit. But that's, that's why I'm always experimenting. That's why I'm always, you know, trying new things because, 
you know, the more stuff you try, the more things you can discover and the more little like tips and tricks you can teach yourself about the way you make art and the, the way you draw and, and, and stuff like that. It's really, really healthy to experiment. Um, but as your, as your plan is growing, it's going to keep growing and eventually it's going to become this, you know, amazing full grown thing. And you can see, you know, over, over the years or, you know, over the months that you will improve. If you draw, you know, a hundred stick figures in a year, the first one is, is going to be a whole lot different than the last one. And whether, whether or not it's better isn't really important, but it's going to be different. You know, you talk about skill or whatever, and I think a lot of the, you know, you can apply a lot of the same logic to skill as you can to developing style, but I'm, I'm not talking about skill here. I'm, I'm literally just talking about style. And, you know, people, people ask me also, like, what would you say your style is? And that, that, took, some, that took some thinking about uh, for me because I don't really think about what my style is. I kind of just think of it as the way that I draw. And, you know, that, that, that works for me. But, you know, if I, if I would have to describe, oh, well, you know, what kind of style do I draw in? You know, I, I wouldn't want to just say, oh, I draw in like an anime style because that, that feels really limiting to me. I, there's definitely some, some anime influence to the way that I draw. I mean, I feel like that's fair, fairly obvious. Uh, I usually draw in a very stylized way, but I also draw like realism sometimes, and I, I also draw like kind of in between realism and, and anime stylings. And so I think, I think if I were to describe my style, it'd be like, you know, uh, illustration style with, with anime influences and and illustration influences it's like you know it's this whole long description of of how i draw because just saying oh well you know you're just an anime artist like that that feels really limiting to me and you know maybe maybe it's better to 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 think of your style as something more open-ended rather than just saying oh you know i want to draw i want to draw anime and i want to follow the rules of anime i mean if that's if that's what you want to do like more more power to you but i think that it's good to keep your it's good to keep your your options open and it's good good to just just think of it as like an individual experience for you rather than trying to fit in to a certain style or a certain uh, method of drawing or anything like that um, you know every everybody is different you know if you ask if you ask someone to draw a line on a paper you know they're going to draw a line in a certain way and if you ask someone else to do it they, they may draw it in a totally different way I mean, you're still drawing a line, but it might, it's, it's probably going to look a little bit different from, from person to person, just as if you, you know, ask two different people to draw a stick figure, like people are going to draw it differently. So really, really the question you should be asking is not how, how do I develop my style or, or anything like that, but it should be, you know, who am I as an artist? Like, how do I like to draw? Or how do I like to paint? You know, anything like that. And this, this, this goes for any sort of creative field. You know, I'm not just talking about artists, you know, people that draw or people that paint or anything like that. It goes for musicians. It goes for clothing designers. You know, everybody, everybody does everything a little bit different. I mean, people eat apples in, in different ways. You know, that's your style of how you eat an apple. Like, it's, it's just this totally, you know, unique thing to everyone. And I think that's, I think that's really beautiful. I think it's really important that people, people should know um, that it's okay to draw how you want to draw. You know, if you want to draw comics, don't feel like you have to draw in, in Marvel style or DC style or whatever. You know, if you want to draw, you know, traditional, like, anime-styled story, you don't have to draw in an anime style. Like, you can, you can make a comic in stick figures if you want. I've seen comics that are made entirely with stick figures, and they're awesome. Like, don't, don't stress too much about having one style or another or you know, getting to a certain point, just, in, you know, it's about the journey too, you know, not, not necessarily just about the destination. You should always keep the destination in mind, but, you know, make sure you're enjoying yourself along the way. I think that's, that's really important, so. Also, I wanted to talk really quickly as I'm kind of just, you know, putting like a little, few little doodles on this, on this drawing. Um, I'm going to be making a video that's a little bit different because it's going to be about me personally, like who I am. Um, it's not, not normally something that I would make, but someone asked me if I would do it, and I, you know, I don't, have a, don't have a good reason not to. You know, mostly I try to keep 
keep my work about the work and not so much about me. Um, but hey, I mean, why not? You guys got questions you want to ask me? Go ahead and post them in the comments um, or, or, or send them to me through email or social media or, you know, however you want. Ask me some questions and I'll pick some and I'll answer them in a video. It can be about, you know, me personally, like my personal life or me as an artist, you know, like what my favorite food is, like anything you can think of that you want to ask me, go ahead and ask me. There's a few things that I won't answer and it's pretty much only limited to um, like larger questions about art. Like a good example that I wouldn't answer would be like, what was your experience like in art school? Because I want to make, you know, like a longer video about that. Very similar to this one. Um, I'm, I, I'm thinking of doing, you know, a series of like 10 minute, 15 minute videos where I talk about like one, one topic. And if you guys have ideas for other topics, you know, if you ask those questions, I may not answer them in the like about me video, but I may end up, you know, making a longer video like this about it. So yeah, send me those questions. Um, and obviously if there's anything that makes me like uncomfortable, I won't answer it, but I also won't call you out. So don't hesitate to ask because I may just answer it anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'll be making that soon. So send me your questions and uh, keep an eye out for that. It should be fun. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I hope it was, you know, maybe helpful or insightful to you in some way. Maybe just made you think um, something like that. If you have any further questions about style or anything like that, don't, don't hesitate to hit me up. You know, I, I try to answer uh, everything that I can. So I will do my best. But yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You know I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.